French Grammar, Wikipedia Audio French Grammar is the set of rules by which the French language creates statements, questions, and commands. In many respects, it is quite similar to that of the other Romance languages. French is a moderately inflected language. Nouns and most pronouns are inflected for number, adjectives, for number, and gender of their nouns, personal pronouns and a few other pronouns, for person, number, gender, and case, and verbs, for tense, aspect, mood, and the person and number of their subjects. Case is primarily marked using word order and prepositions, while certain verb features are marked using auxiliary verbs. Verbs in French are conjugated to reflect the following information. Verbs Some of these features are combined into 710c euro aspecta euro mood combinations. The simple forms are commonly referred to as the present, the simple past or preterite, the imperfect, the future, the conditional, the present subjunctive, and the imperfect subjunctive. However, the simple past is rarely used in informal French, and the imperfect subjunctive is rarely used in modern French at all. Verbs in the finite moods are also conjugated to agree with their subjects in person and number. As in English, the subject must be included, in other words, unlike other Romance languages, French is neither a null subject language nor a pro-drop language. A mood infinitive, participle, or gerundive, a tense, an aspect, a voice or reflexive. Auxiliary verbs are combined with past participles of main verbs to produce compound tenses, including the compound past. For most main verbs the auxiliary is avouar, but for reflexive verbs and certain intransitive verbs the auxiliary is a form of atre. The participle agrees with the subject when the auxiliary is atre, and with a preceding direct object when the auxiliary is avouar. Forms of atre are also used with the past participles of transitive verbs to form the passive voice. The imperative mood, which only has first person plural and second person singular and plural forms, usually has forms similar or identical to the corresponding ones in the present indicative. Every French noun has a grammatical gender, either masculine or feminine. The grammatical gender of a noun referring to a human usually corresponds to the noun's natural gender. For such nouns, there will very often be one noun of each gender, with the choice of noun being determined by the natural gender of the person described, for example, a male singer is a chanteur, while a female singer is a chanteuse. A plural noun that refers to both males and females is masculine. In some cases, the two nouns are identical in form, with the difference only being marked in neighboring words, a Catholic man is uncatholic, while a Catholic woman is uncatholic. Nonetheless, there are some such nouns that retain their grammatical gender regardless of natural gender, person a person is always feminine while prof sewer teacher is always masculine. In Canadian French, un professeur is the standard feminine form, which is becoming more and more common in European French. A noun's gender is not perfectly predictable from its form, but there are some trends. As a very broad trend, nouns ending in e tend to be feminine, while the rest tend to be masculine. More consistently, some endings, such as Zion, Shen, Isen and Eda copyright occur almost exclusively with feminine nouns, while others, such as Er and Isma occur almost exclusively with masculine ones. Nonetheless, a noun that seems masculine judging by its ending might actually be feminine or vice versa. Noun clauses are masculine. 
Jele ai pre I took them a jenele ai pa pre I did not take them, je vaudreus regarder un film et m endermer I would like to watch a movie and fall asleep, a je vaudreus regarder un film et n e pa m endermer. I would like to watch a movie and not fall asleep. A small number of nouns can be used either in masculine or feminine gender with the same meaning. Often one gender is preferred over the other. Some nouns change gender according to the way they are used. The words amour love and de copyright lice pleasure are masculine in singular and feminine in plural. The word org organ is masculine, but when used emphatically in plural to refer to a church organ it becomes feminine. The plural noun gens people changes gender in a very unusual way, being usually masculine but triggering feminine agreement when certain adjectives precede the word. The vocabulary of French includes many homophones, i.e., pairs of words with different spellings but the same pronunciation. Grammatical gender, however, may serve to distinguish some of these. For example, Le pot pot and la poskin are both pronounced but disagree in gender. Negative adverbs Nouns As in English, nouns inflect for number. In terms of spelling, the plural is usually formed from the singular by adding the letter s. Nouns ending in o, eu, and ou often take the ending x instead. However, the endings s and x are mute outside of liaison contexts, so the plural form of a noun generally has the same pronunciation as the singular. In spoken French, therefore, the plurality of a noun generally cannot be determined from the pronunciation of the noun, but it is commonly marked by the form of a preceding article or determiner the house les maisons the houses, Monday frere my brother mes frères my brothers. Nouns which end in s, x, or z in the singular are left unchanged in the plural in both pronunciation and spelling. Liaison between a plural noun and a following adjective is only common in careful speech, for example, by newsreaders. In this case the plural ending s or x may be pronounced. De finiti res overts. In common speech, this is almost never done, so singular and plural forms of most nouns are homophonous in all contexts. However, some French nouns have distinguishable spoken plural forms. This includes most of those ending in al, whose plural form is auxiliary chevaux horses as well as a few nouns ending in ale which also follow this pattern Travaux works. Three nouns form completely irregular plurals, aaul aaux ancestors, seals you heavens, and ailuis. Three other nouns have regular plurals in spelling but have irregular pronunciations, bauf bauf oxen, cattle, auf auf eggs, and OSOS bones. As with English, most uncountable nouns are grammatically treated as singular, though some are plural, such as lay matha copyright matics mathematics. Some nouns that are uncountable in English are countable in French, such as un information a piece of information. Nouns in French are not inflected for any other grammatical categories. Articles and determiners agree in gender and number with the noun they determine, unlike with nouns, this inflection is made in speech as well as in writing. Gender Number French has three articles, definite, indefinite, and partitive. The difference between the definite and indefinite articles is similar to that in English except that the indefinite article has a plural form. The partitive article is similar to the indefinite article but used for uncountable singular nouns. A-J-E-N-E say is pa. A-A-Euro I do not know, a. 
ILNE fume plus. A A Euro he does not smoke anymore. A. News and Avens VU person A. A A Euro we did not see anybody. A. L N Arene Bulletin. A A Euro she didn't drink anything. A. J E N A I Akun Ida copyright E. A A Euro I have no idea. A. Vu any main jazz k de la copyright gums? A A Euro you only eat vegetables. Case. Articles and determiners. Adjectives. Adverbs. Prepositions. An adjective must agree in gender and number with the noun it modifies. French adjectives therefore have four forms, masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, and feminine plural. AILPRA copyright tend ne pa slash ne jama slash ne reen fumer. AA euro he claims not to smoke slash to never smoke slash to smoke nothing. The masculine singular, an adjective's basic form, is listed in dictionaries. The feminine singular is normally formed by adding e to the basic form. This e is mute, which makes many masculine and feminine forms homophonous. However, the ending causes mute final sounds to be pronounced, whereby masculine-feminine pairs become distinguishable in pronunciation if the masculine form ends in a mute consonant, which is the case with a great deal of adjectives lowered heavy. Under certain circumstances, other minor changes occur in the formation of feminine forms, such as the placement of an accent, the doubling of a consonant, or its replacement with another, changes that often reflect the pronunciation of such endings bone good, aru are you happy. Irregular feminine forms include beau belle beautiful, blanc blanche white, and a limited number of others. If an adjective's basic form ends in e, it is left unchanged in the feminine. A reen nest certain. A A Euro nothing is certain, A. Person A N E S T Areva copyright. A A Euro nobody came. The plural is normally formed by adding S to the singular. This S is usually mute, but pronounced in liaison with a following noun that begins with a vowel. Unlike liaison after plural nouns, Liaison after plural adjectives is common and even obligatory in standard usage. If the basic form ends in s, x, or z, an adjective is left unchanged in the masculine plural. A few adjectives take the ending x in the masculine plural. Plural forms that are distinguishable from the singular outside of liaison environments occur only with adjectives ending in l. These normally have auxiliary in the masculine plural centra central. By contrast, the feminine plural is formed according to the general rule, central centrals. A L N A plus Jamarine did a person A. A A Euro she never said anything else to anybody, A. L N A pa V U person A. A Euro she did not see nobody. Pronouns Due to the aforementioned rules, French adjectives might have four distinguished written forms which are all pronounced the same. This is the case if an adjective's masculine and feminine forms are homophonous and if there is no liaison between the adjective and a following noun. On the other hand, if the masculine and feminine forms have different pronunciations and liaison does occur, all four forms can be distinguishable in pronunciation. Adjective declension is therefore important in spoken French, though to a lesser extent than in writing. Due to the peculiar orthography of French, which denotes mute final consonants, most feminine forms seem regular in terms of their spelling because they are formed by adding e to the masculine form, 
e.g., grand grand e, lent lent e, persan persan e. However, if we put this etymologic orthography aside and consider only current pronunciation, the formation of French female forms becomes quite irregular with several possible endings. Most adjectives, when used attributively, appear after their nouns, le ven rouge. A number of adjectives, come before their nouns, un bel femme. With a few adjectives of the latter type, there are two masculine singular forms, one used before consonants, and one used before vowels. For example, the adjective beau changes form from un beau guerra onto un bel homme. Some adjectives change position depending on their meaning, sometimes preceding their nouns and sometimes following them. For example, Ancien means former when it precedes its noun, but ancient when it follows it. To give another example, un homme grand means a tall man, whereas un grand homme means a great man. Many compound words contain an adjective, such as Belle Marie mother in law, which is distinct from Belle Marie beautiful mother. Some of them use an archaic form of the feminine adjective that lacks the final e and sometimes show an apostrophe instead of a hyphen, such as Grand Route Main Country Road, which is distinct from Grande Route Long Way, and Grand Marie Grandmother, which is distinct from Grande Marie Tall Mother. As in English, Adverbs in French are used to modify adjectives, other adverbs, verbs, or clauses. Most adverbs are derived from an adjective by adding the suffix meant to its feminine form, though some adverbs are derived irregularly and others do not derive from adjectives at all. Adverbs themselves are generally invariable. Exceptions to this are a handful of adverbs exhibiting syncretic comparative forms and the adverb tout holy, very which agrees in gender and number with the adjective it modifies. Negation French prepositions link two related parts of a sentence. In word order, they are placed in front of a noun in order to specify the relationship between the noun and the verb, adjective, or other noun that precedes it. Some common French prepositions are, a, aca ta copyright day, opera s, au sujet de, avant, avec, che, contra, dans, d'opera s, de, depuis, derriere, devant, durant, n, and de or de, and face de, entre, envers, environ, or de, Jusk, loin de, malgre copyright, par, parmi, pendant, pour, pras de, quant a, sans, silon, su, swivent, sir, ver. In French pronouns can be inflected to indicate their role in a clause, as well as the person, gender, and number of their referent. Not all of these inflections may be present at once, for example, the relative pronoun K may have any referent, while the possessive pronoun LE mean may have any role in a clause. AJENAI PA PU VENIR AA Euro I was not able to come. AJAI PA PU VENIR A AJENAI PU VENIR A CF phrase AJENE says qua AA Euro I do not know what remaining in colloquial speech is a fossilized phrase. Colloquial usage As noted above, French is a non pro drop language, therefore, pronouns feature prominently in the language. Impersonal verbs use the impersonal pronoun IL. The complement clause of verbs expressing fear or avoidance, craindra, avouar pair, impachère, a copyright viter, the complement clause of verbs expressing doubt or denial, duder, near, 
adverbial clauses introduced by the following expressions, avant k, a moins k, de pair slash craint k, comparative constructions expressing inequality, outre, miler, plus fort, moins intelligent, etc. French object pronouns are all clitics. Some appear so consistently a euro especially in everyday speech a euro that some have commented that French could almost be considered to demonstrate polypersonal agreement. Ailya du burgers et quins moutons dans l'epra copyright. A. There are two shepherds and fifteen sheep in the meadow. A. Ily or a boku a manger. A. There will be a lot to eat. A. Ily or right do morts et sink bless a copyright s dans l accident. A. There appears to have been two dead and five injured in the accident. A. Ilny of eight person a chalet martin. A. There was nobody at the martin's home. Independent any. Expletive any. Existential clauses. French usually expresses negation in two parts, with the particle any attached to the verb, and one or more negative words that modify the verb or one of its arguments. Negation encircles a conjugated verb with any after the subject and the connegative after verb, if the verb is finite or a gerund. However, both parts of the negation come before the targeted verb when it is in its infinitive form. For example, other negative words used in combination with ne are Examples The negative adverbs follow finite verbs but precede infinitives. Moreover, it is possible for rein and person a to be used as the subject of a sentence which moves them to the beginning of the sentence. Several negative words can appear in the same sentence, but the sentence is still usually interpreted as a simple negation. When another negative word occurs with pa, a double negation interpretation usually arises, but this construction is criticized. In colloquial French, it is common to drop the ne although this can create some ambiguity with the NEA Euro plus construction when written down, as plus could mean either more or not any more. Generally when plus is used to mean more, the final S is pronounced whereas it is never pronounced when used to mean not any more. As an example, the informal sentence ILY and a plus could be pronounced with the final to mean there is more or it could be pronounced without it to mean there is none left. In certain, mostly literary constructions, any can express negation by itself. The four verbs that can use this construction are pouvoir, savoir, oser, and cesser. In certain cases in formal French, the word any can be used without signifying negation, the any in such instances is known as expletive any. Expletive any is found in finite subordinate clauses. It is characteristic of literary rather than colloquial style. In other registers French tends to not use any negation at all in such clauses, e.g., jai per k cela s e reproduce. The following contexts allow expletive any. In French, the equivalent of the English existential clause there is is expressed with ilya, literally, it there has or it has to it. The verb may be conjugated to indicate tense, but always remains in the third person singular. For example, this construction is also used to express the passage of time since an event occurred, like the English ago or it has been. In informal speech, ILY is typically reduced to, as in. The components of a declarative clause are typically arranged in the following order. French basic word order is thus subject a euro verb a euro object although, 
if the object is a clitic pronoun, it precedes the verb. Some types of sentences allow for or require different word orders, in particular inversion of the subject and verb. For example, some adverbial expressions placed at the beginning of a sentence trigger inversion of pronominal subjects, put a t-r-e-e-s-t-l party. Word order can be an indicator of stylistic register. For instance, inversion of nominal subjects is possible in many relative clauses. The second version of the sentence, with inversion, is more formal. Word order Notes A J E L A I V U I L Y A du jurors A. I saw him two days ago, A. I L Y of eight long temps K J E N E L of eyes pa V U A. It had been a long time since I had seen him, A. L E language de euro trademark I L Y A cent A N S E S T tra S diff a copyright rent de celui de euro trademark Ajur de euro trademark Huawei. A. The language slash usage of 100 years ago is very different from that of today. Y A du burgers E T quins mutons dans L E P R A copyright dot Y or a boku a manger. Y of eight person a Shayla Martin, J E L A I V U Y A du jurors. Say L E lever, say L E lever.